There is a woman named Laura Loomer who recently tweeted that if the Vice President wins the election, the White House will smell like curry and White House speeches will be facilitated via a call center, uh, among other things. She recently traveled with the former president, and I wonder if President Biden has read these remarks and his response. Let me tell you our, our response from here. It is uh, repugnant, these types of comments. It is un-American uh, to say these types of things, exactly uh, the kind of hateful uh, and divisive rhetoric, rhetoric that we should denounce and we should not, uh, should not be part of the fabric uh, of this country. It doesn't matter what your pol political views are. Uh, you should stand and condemn and condemn these types of uh, just repugnant, repugnant words. Uh, no leader should ever associate with someone who spreads this kind of ugliness, uh, this kind of racist poison. That's what this is. And who continues to fan these types of dangerous and insulting conspiracy theories like the false notion, like the false notion that the tragic 9-11 attacks were an inside job. We were all with, you all saw, uh, leaders and family members tell their stories yesterday, especially on, at Ground Zero in New York City. We all, I'm sure, some, many of us have personal stories of that day, 9-11 of 2021, and more than 2,000 lives were lost. 2,000. And to say that, that it's an inside job, and to spread that is insulting insulting and we should not uh, no leader should be connected to that or spreading that and as the president Biden has always said it's our duty it is our duty as Americans to give hate no no safe harbor and to bring the country together around our shared values and to recognize and appreciate the unique strength that our diversity gives us as a nation he says this all the time our diversity is our strength, and that's what we should be following. On a related note, during the debate, Trump spread false claims and lies about immigrants eating pets in Springfield, Ohio. The city manager disputed those false claims, and today, City Hall was evacuated after a bomb threat was sent to city agencies and media outlets. Does President Biden believe Trump's words and rhetoric contributed to those threats today? So look, I, I want to be super mindful. Uh, we are aware of the reports of a bombing threat, as you just stated, in uh, Springfield, Ohio, uh, at City Hall. Uh, local police obviously is investigating the situation, and we encourage everyone to, to follow the public safety guidance. I don't want to speculate from here uh, the source of the bomb threat, uh, but I do want to take a step back. I think it's important that all of us take a step back here uh, and, and just lean on the facts here. The Springfield, Ohio Police Department has debunked this very bizarre and very hateful smear that's out there. Uh, it is what is happening here is an attempt to tear apart communities and disrespect, let's not forget, also disrespecting law enforcement. And that is the opposite of what our country deserves. Uh, it is undignified and an insult to all of us as Americans, not just one community, but to all of us as Americans. And it is spreading filth that makes the lives of the communities that are being smeared here, it puts their lives in danger. And, uh, and it is just, uh, it is just hate speech. That's what it is. And some of your news, some of the news organizations here have reported uh, that uh, uh, some Haitians, Haitians American, Haitian immigrants are fearing, fearing for their safety right now uh, because of result of conspiracy theory. This is what this is. So instead of leaders trying to bring us together uh, around our shared values, which is something that the president believes and, sh and says all the time, as I just stated. Uh, and, you know, the president and the vice president, that's what they want to see. They want to see us come together in our shared values in a respectful way. And I, I, I will say one more thing, and I, and I think if you guys could hear me out for one second, like m maybe we should not have leaders who fall for fake internet conspiracy theories. We should think about that.
maybe we should not have leaders who do that. Our country deserves better. Okay.